Hello, I'm Richard Murray. I'm the owner of M4 Oxygen Service. I'm also a registered nurse and a registered respiratory therapist. I'm frequently asked to give in services to medical staff on the proper and safe use of oxygen. So today I'm going to instruct Kelly on how to put a regulator on a cylinder uh, for patient use. First, Kelly, I'm going to ask you to place the cylinder in the holder. You always want to be sure a cylinder is in a holder and secure or laying flat. If you're going to store it in your office, you should store it in a cool place, well ventilated, 6 to 10 feet away from an open flame. Remember, oxygen is uh, non-flammable, but it does support combustion. Next, Kelly, I'm going to ask you to remove the dust cover on the cylinder. And it's sometimes easier to rotate the cylinder So the valve is positioned with the oxygen orifice and the guide pins to one side. Next I'm going to, this is a regulator, and if you can look inside the, the yoke you'll see two pins. Those two pins are going to align with those two openings. The bigger opening has a washer on it, and that washer is going to prevent the leaking of gas. The name of the game is to put the yoke assembly over the valve and position it until it feels like it seats into place just by lifting up and pushing inward. Would you try that? And you just tighten it as tight as you can tighten it. But you don't have to over tighten or use any tools. The next step is look at the flow control, which on this particular regulator is on the end, and make sure it's in the off position. Is it off? It's in zero. In the off position, you then take the wrench and place the slotted end of the wrench on the top of the cylinder. You might, there you go. You might, and open it by pushing it away from you or counterclockwise. And give it a good turn. You might want to reposition, there you go, good. Okay, you should then look at the gauge, and that's the contents gauge. It should tell you, it should be all the way in the 12 o'clock position, is it? Yeah. In the 12 o'clock position, that tells you the cylinder's full. If you've used this part of the cylinder, it'll only go as high as there is pressure in the cylinder. The next step is to attach a nasal cannula, a mask, or a resuscitation bag. We have a nasal cannula here. You can attach it to the nipple of the regulator there. And then select the flow of that you would want to give your patient. And, yeah, and two. Good. Go ahead now and turn it off to the zero position. I like to store my cylinders in the off or neutral position, I call it. So before I leave the cylinder, I want to make sure it's turned off. So once again, take the slot into the wrench, put it on top of the regular regu cylinder, correct, and rotate it clockwise, there you go, until you can't turn it anymore. And you shouldn't have to over tighten it. When it comes to a stop, I would now want, I now want you to turn the flow control on and you should see the gauge go down to zero. And when it's all the way down to zero, I then want you to turn the flow control to the zero position. Now the tank is in the off and safe position. So when I go to use it, the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wrench, I'm going to put the wrench on the top of the cylinder and rotate it counterclockwise. I'm going to look at my gauge, it'll tell me how much oxygen I have and I'll then select the flow I need for the desired piece of equipment we're using. When I'm all done using it, I'm going to turn it off by going clockwise, selecting the flow until the flow goes, until the contents gauge reads zero, and that's how, and turn the flow control off, and that's how I'll store my cylinder. If you have any questions about your oxygen system, please call 909-949-9555.